Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about macOS Sonoma 14.6.1 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple today released macOS Sonoma 14.6.1, a minor update to the macOS Sonoma operating system that Apple launched last year. macOS Sonoma 14.6.1 comes a week after the release of macOS Sonoma 4.6, an update that added security fixes. To update your Mac to macOS 14.6.1 open system settings, then go to the software update section and then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14.6.1 update size is around 1.42 gigabytes for my device. Click on update now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. Keep in mind, that once this update is downloaded, it may take about 20 minutes to install. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.6.1, and the build number is 23G93. Moving forward and talking about this build, According to Apple's release notes, macOS Sonoma 14.6.1 fixes an issue that prevented the enabling or disabling of advanced data protection. Apple says there are also other important bug fixes. Now talking about the macOS Sonoma 16.6.1 release notes. The Mac 14.5 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sonoma 14.6. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.4, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding ARKit resolved issues, fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly when initializing AR Skeleton definition. Regarding Core Spotlight resolved issues, fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly when invoking CS searchable item attribute set set action identifiers. Regarding Finder resolved issues, fixed home videos unexpectedly sync as music videos to iPod Nano, 7th generation. Regarding video subscriber account resolved issues, fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if VS Open TV provider settings URL string is referenced. Regarding video toolbox resolved issues, fixed an issue and now on Apple Silicon, if width or height is greater than 4096 columns or rows and content uses 4220 chroma subsampling and 8-bit depth, the hardware decoder driver will reject it and a software decoder will be automatically selected to ensure artifact-free decoding. AVC H.264 content at level 5.2 or lower can be handled by the hardware decoder. Content that otherwise conforms to level 5.2 but is high frame rate, e.g. 4K at 120 FPS, is labeled level 6, 6.1 or 6.2, and is also handled by hardware. If content is 10-bit, 422, or 4444, the hardware decoder will be used. So, that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical to the previous one. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.